Duffy. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I rise in strong support of Mr. Mulvaney's amendment to shield taxpayers uh, from bailing out the Import-Export Bank. Now, I've, I've been here for this debate over the last uh, 45 minutes, and I've heard my uh, good friend comment from Frog Jump, Tennessee, that, and I think he said, the uh, Import-Export Bank doesn't cost taxpayers one penny. Okay? That was the quote. Doesn't cost one penny. But what this amendment does is guarantee that uh, the Export-Import Bank won't cost the taxpayer one penny because the taxpayer is not going to be on the hook. But then I just heard my good friend from Tennessee say, if we pass this amendment, it's going to kill the bank. You can't have it both ways. Either it kills the bank if you don't have a backstop because it costs the taxpayers money, or it doesn't cost the taxpayers any money, and this amendment won't kill the bank. But you can't have it both ways. It does not work that way. Listen, this makes sense. The Export-Import Bank, it helps the 10 largest businesses in America. Why do moms and dads and families in Wausau, Wisconsin, or Hayward, Wisconsin, Frog Jump, Tennessee, the suburbs of Chicago, or uh, rural Oklahoma, why do those moms and dads who make $50,000, $60,000 a year, maybe a little more in Chicago suburbs, but why are they the backstop for these biggest corporations? That shouldn't be the way it is. So let's take the, back, the backstop of that taxpayer, those American families, let's take them off the hook. Let's let the bank, as, uh, as the author of the amendment said, let, it, let them stand on their own. Let them make that guarantee on their own. In our communities, our banks make loans to small businesses every single day. I know the gentlelady from Wisconsin knows that. And there's not a taxpayer backstop to those loans. If they don't pay those loans back, the bank loses. Why are the biggest corporations getting the backstop of the American taxpayer? This one makes sense. This one makes sense. Let's all stand together and say the American taxpayer, the American family, is not going to back up the biggest banks. Let's get away from the crony capitalism. It's not going to kill the bank. It's a good amendment. This is the place and the time for reform. Maybe it should have happened six months ago. But with regular order, it gets to happen today. Let's stand together for American families and against crony capitalism. With that, I yield back. The gentleman. The